<laughs> Come on, Clayton. This is our, uh, today is the first day of fall? It's the first full day of fall. Yesterday first, was like switch over day. Uh, yeah. This is a little hike right around the corner from us. We just literally our house is through the woods there. And we can take this little woodland trail over to one of the beaches that we have. But I figure for today's little vlog. And our dog loves to sniff all of the woodland creatures that walk by. Mm -hmm. Show you guys a little bit of something a little different. Um, I'm told a little ghost story the other day that happened to my grandmother. I have another one. I only have a couple that came from my family. And this one was told to me by my grandfather. And I don't know if it's such a, as such a ghost story as it is just something weird happened, maybe supernatural. But if you remember that ghost story I told you a few days ago, I, I mentioned a gigantic cemetery in West Virginia, in Princeton, West Virginia called Rest Haven, I believe is the name of it. And it's huge among us. And it has those old Gothic looking statues in it. It's got these life-size like marble um, reliefs of like the Last Supper. And that's the one I was gonna talk about real quick. My grandfather used to walk their dog, um, Fifi, <laughs> a poodle, through the cemetery sometimes and they would she would he would go and take her for walks out there at night and this one night the he noticed something like glowing in the distance and he couldn't figure out what it was because the moon was out but um it didn't make any sense so he started walking towards it and it got bigger and bigger and bigger and he realized what it was it was that huge statue of the last supper it was glowing and the way he describes it he said at first i thought it was the just the moon reflecting off of it um but it didn't make sense because i when i walked up to it it was glowing on all sides and he had this old keychain he said from the bank that he used to belong to and it used to glow in the dark. And he took that out of his pocket and he held it up to this giant marble statue. And it was glowing, like brighter than that little keychain. But around the same color, you know, that like, that green. That like kind of weird. Yeah, that green. almost ghostly green. Yeah. <laughs> and the statue was glowing bright enough that he said if he had a book, he could have read a book by it. And it wasn't, he said he touched it a few times and it wasn't putting off any heat or anything like that. There were no lights out there um, that could be getting, you know, reflecting off of it. There, the full moon wasn't doing it. And he yeah. thought, well, maybe, you know, maybe it's a type of moss or something, but that didn't make any sense because he was right up on it. Um, but yeah, the thing was glowing. And he said he went back the next night and it wasn't anymore. That's weird. Yeah. That's the part that gets me, because if it had been like some kind of phosphorescence or something, you know, that, yeah. bioluminescent, it wouldn't have just, unless there are bioluminescents out there with like a 12 hour life cycle. I don't know, but the fact that that just, it covered that whole statue head to toe. Yeah. And I mean, I grew up at the beach in Virginia Beach and we used to go out there at night sometimes and the um the water was glowing purple or blue and you could swim in it and splash around a bit and it would make you know it would make the water glow um but for a statue to glow in the middle of nowhere yeah. that was weird but so not necessarily a ghost story but just something strange maybe not even supernatural just very weird it's if you can yeah Potentially, this next we don't know or don't know yet. Yeah, maybe maybe one of the viewers out there will know what could cause that. What would do that? And my brother and I went out there for, I mean, years <laughs> at night after that story to look at that statue and see if it was glowing. And uh, we never saw it glow. But um, yeah, very, very... 
Very strange. So we'll keep today short. Thought I'd tell that story. I have another ghost story. Well, not go Well, this one is a ghost story about that cemetery, and I'll do that one. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Okay. The one I, one about my mom. Mm -hmm. They lived right off of that cemetery. She grew up there, and this is a legit ghost story, which made our nights in that house very <laughs> challenging for my brother and I for a few years. But uh, I'll tell that ghost story tomorrow night. It's definitely very creepy. So, alrighty guys, so we'll keep this one short since yesterday's was so long. <laughs> <laughs> we tag this onto the end of the video, the vlog. One, two, three, four, five. Five of them. <laughs> it doesn't look like any of them are happy or either. No. Nah. That means that they're not even all of our normal cadre. Was that yesterday that we had the deer in the vlog? Yes, I believe so. But I could be wrong. We literally do not care that we're here. For the most part. <laughs> Probably more back there too. There's also someone else who doesn't care. Buds, yeah. She learned a long time ago. She's not gonna catch those things. Nope. And get her butt kicked. <laughs> so yeah, we have a ton of deer. <laughs> yeah, very brave. To say the least. They will take you on, deer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>